We are joined now by two other great dancers who will forever be linked with Gene Kelly, if only because of one movie that they made together, Singing in the Rain. Debbie Reynolds, who has just come from the set of a movie she is making called Mother, and Donald O'Connor, who was nice enough to drive in all the way from where in Arizona? Sedona. Sedona. Yeah. It's only an hour and a half away. Well, you were very nice to do it, and I very much appreciate having both of you here. Thank you. Um, let's, let's just begin with... Uh, I'm, I'm going to ask the question here as a, as a consumer. Why aren't they making movies like that anymore? Oh, Donald, do you want to say the same thing I would? They should be. You go ahead, Debbie. Well, don't we feel the musicals should be here today? as well as yesterday. Everybody loves musicals. I've got to tell you something, and, and do you mind, somehow, having watched the two of you all my life, I don't feel as though I should call you Ms. Reynolds and Mr. O'Connor. Will first names <laughs> yeah. be all right? Yeah, Absolutely. yeah. Terrific. Absolutely. When we talk about Gene Kelly, uh, the, the general assumption is, and you can tell me to what degree this is true, that his greatest contribution beyond his own skill as a dancer was that uh, he sort of made everyday things a part of his choreography. Was that his doing, or was there a choreographer behind the scenes who made that happen? No, that was usually Gene. Yeah, he made, it, yeah. made everybody feel like they could dance. And I know people have come up to me and they've said, uh, we go out, we're dancing down in the gutter, we're, and uh, we're washing around the, the water and everything, just like Gene did. And, in uh, his number, his main number, Singing in the Rain. You were telling me a terrific story about that before, about the wool suit, Donald. Oh, it was my... I just happened to go over that day and watch Gene work. I had a couple of days off. And they used the, uh, they used the back lot and they put a canvas over it. And in those days, you really had to light up these sets. It was awfully hot. No one even thought about this. Gene starts to do, uh, I'm singing in the rain. And all of a sudden, his pants came up six inches, and the coat went up six inches. Everything started to shrink. It was wool. It was wool, right. And so he it got wet wool. in the heat of the lights? Uh, right. So, so what they, they, they do? Well, they took off that outfit, gave him another one, and that shrunk as soon as he started. So they had called in from people, wardrobe people from all over uh, Los Angeles to come in and start making him suits. It was like he had a suit for every eight bars. I was, as I saw that sequence go by earlier this evening, I was, I, I began to count the number of edits in it. It looked to me as though there were about somewhere seven, eight edits in it. How long mm. did it, how long did it take to shoot that sequence? I mean, the whole, the whole dance Gene? number. Yeah. I think that was a comparative, comparatively short time. Sure. What was it, uh, Debbie? Oh, uh, because of the rain, because they put uh, the sprinklers overhead till the rain, a couple of days. That was the fastest number done. The, the, the longest number was, of course, the finale, you know, when he had all the big uh, dancing team with him. But yeah. that number was amazing for being so brilliant, remember, Donald? It was sure. just a couple days. What I want to do for both of you, and I, I, I think you've probably got uh, some return video here so you can see it, is uh, we've got three clips lined up. Um, the first one we're doing it involves all three of you, that is Gene Kelly and and Debbie Reynolds and Donald O'Connor. It's good morning, good morning. You obviously you remember it, right? <laughs> yes. Sir. Well, let's, let's... Yes, this is the one that took forever. Don't say good morning. Good morning. Rainbow is shining. Good morning. Good morning. Bonjour. Bonjour. Buenos dias. Buenos dias. Buongiorno. Buongiorno. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning to you. If you notice, nobody looks down. This is one of the longest numbers we did because we had so many rooms to work in. And we, what, what, what time did we finish this in the morning? Well, number one, you remember this is the night I almost passed out and I had blood in my shoes from going over the couch and everything. Oh, right. That's right. Oh, is, this, is this the one that ends up in, with, with the three of you plopped in the couch? Yeah, with us. Yeah, if, if, if it goes that long, you'll notice Debbie, she'll look at me and she's saying, thank God, this is over. with all of those musicals, but particularly with Singing in the Rain, mm -hmm. is something that gives the appearance of being so totally effortless. And it must have been exactly the opposite. How much of an effort was it, Debbie? Oh, well, the, for me, I had never danced, you understand? I was 18 years old. Donald O'Connor was always a great, brilliant dancer, brought up from a family from when he was born. And Gene <laughs> Kelly, the most brilliant. Debbie had never danced, so I had to learn how to dance in three months. So uh, Donald was, you know, closer to my age, and so he, he and I became kind of buddies, and he helped me out a lot, Donald knows that. So Gene Kelly, you know, he'd come in and look at the dance steps, but I had to learn them, and that was really tough for me. And he was a, 
a really a great teacher, a great taskmaster, but it was very hard for me. That movie was really tough. You know, everybody worked hard together. Remember, Donald? We were all in that, that dance room where A, rehearsal hall A, and everybody would just put, toss that script around, and so what are we going to do here? But you have to say, you know, Gene was it. Gene was it. We're going to take a break. The two of you can keep talking to each other Why if not? you like. Why not? Hey. Hey, you've got better things to do than watch the commercial, right? We'll be back in just a moment. <laughs>